Okay, so a balloon is filled with helium gas um, and occupies 2.50 liters at 25 degrees Celsius and 1 atm. When released, it rises to an altitude where the temperature is now 20 degrees Celsius and the pressure is only 0 0.800 atm. Calculate the new volume of the balloon. So, is that a problem where things change? Yes. 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 So we're going to have to do what? PV equals NRT over PV equals NRT. Okay. So let's write that down. And remember we did P1, V1, N1, and R cancels. So we don't even have to put that if you don't want to. P2, V2. But if, I mean, if it helps you, let's put R because it seems like some people want to. So R is going to cancel already, right? Because it's a constant. Okay. So, <clears throat> do we know any of these uh, things? Do we know? Well, it says V one. Yeah, we know V one. V one is two point five zero liters. And remember the units we want them in. Liters is a good unit for us. Uh, T one. We know, right? That's uh, 25 degrees Celsius plus 273, 298 Kelvin. Um, we know P1, right? 1.00, oh yeah, 1 atm. Okay. Did the number of moles change in this problem? Look at the problem. No. How would the number of moles change if I had a balloon filled with gas? How, what would I have to do to it to change the number of moles? Open it. Open it and let the gas out or put some more gas in. Did that happen in this? No. So the number of moles is what? The same or different? The same, so we can cancel that one, right? Do you understand what I'm doing? Okay. So, do we do we know these other ones? V two, T two, and P two. We don't know V two. Yeah, we don't know V two. That's what we're looking for, right? Do we know T two? Yes. yes. It's going to be 20 plus 273, 293 Kelvin. And P2, do we know that? 1800. Very good. So, essentially our new equation is going to be T1 over T2 equals P1 times V1 over P2 times V2. And we're looking for V2, right? So the first step is to flip both sides of that equation over. So let's just write that over here. So since I want V2 on the left side, I'm just going to do it this way. Um, P2, V2. So we flip that over, right? P1, V1. And that's going to equal what? T2 over T1, right? Now we want to isolate the variable V2. Can we do it all in one shot? Yeah, how do we do it? By P1, V1, and divide by P2, right? And then we got to do that same thing to the other side too, right? P1, V1 over P2. Like that. So cancel, 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 cancel. And what do we get? V2 equals T2 P1 V1 divided by T1 P2. Okay? That's essentially the combined gas law. Or this is actually. Uh, either one. They all are. And now all we do is plug and chug. 
So do we have all that? Do we have T2, P1, P1, T1, P2? Yeah? Just plug them in. So T2, 293 Kelvin, P1, 1.00 ATM, B1, 2.50 liter, plus two. T1, 298 Kelvin, and P2, 0 0.800 ATM, and watch, we'll cancel out our units, Kelvin cancels with Kelvin, ATM cancels with ATM, <laughs> leaving us with liters, is that the units that we would want? Yeah, because that's the unit of volume. So, I'm just going to put this up here. So, all we got to do is find our calculators first. And then, plug these answers in. So, what do we got here? Two, whoops, 293 times 1 times 2.5 divided by... 298 divided by 0.8. So if we had a, a wait, let's this one. 293 times 2.5 divided by 298. Yeah. Yep, that makes sense. Okay. So if we had a balloon that did all of this stuff, so the thing is, is the temperature, the temperature decreased, right? But the pressure also decreased, right? So the volume of the balloon is actually going to get bigger. Okay, so it's a, it's a function of both of those things happening. So the temperature decreasing is going to make your balloon smaller, but the pressure decreasing is going to make it bigger, okay? So the pressure decrease overweighs the temperature decrease, okay? And what I got, hopefully everybody else got the same answer. What did you guys get? 3.07 liters. Okay. What? I didn't know, like, you know, at the bottom where you have 298? Uh huh. I was multiplying and I'm supposed to be dividing. Yeah, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be multiplying that. that. That means divide. I know, yeah. but I was multiplying the two at the bottom. Yeah, you should multiply these two by each other. Go watch the video again, okay? <laughs> I promise you that's what I did. Uh, I will. I've been doing it for a long time, okay? I promise you, I promise you, that's what I did. Are there any more questions? Do it again. I promise you, you'll get the right answer. Okay, cool. We cool?